Hello you, welcome to Geekism. You join me back in Pinewood Hills for a slightly shorter episode today. Um, I am currently getting ready, getting myself prepped for Frontier Expo that's happening at the weekend. And um, because I've had to have the weekend off for that from my main job, um, I've had to sort of squeeze all my shifts into a few days. I've got no holiday left at the moment. Uh, using all that when Xander was born uh, so anyway it doesn't really matter for the reasons but anyway I haven't had that much time to game this week unfortunately so a bit of a shorter episode but I did manage to get in here and do a couple of little bits uh, first of all somebody very correctly pointed out that if we were going to make the place accessible uh, for wheelchairs and pushchairs we should probably have an accessible gate so I've adjusted one of the gates here uh, to act as an accessible gate people still wonder through it it's you know it's the sort of thing that I'm going to uh, allow I'm not going to worry too much about it also somebody pointed out that the turnstiles were the wrong way around so now hopefully Hopefully. Uh, and also Dan uh, Dan Fendel points out that we should probably have a little little lump there to act as the rotary. So it basically just tweaked the uh, the entrance to a, a little bit there. Okay, so um, moving on. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, oh, we've had some lights as well. I, I don't think that was done on on screen last time and also in here as well we've added a, a set of lights as well uh, so little things really not to say i haven't really been able to get into here much this week so a couple of weeks ago on a live stream uh, i actually built this uh, which is a, a popcorn stand uh, so it's a popcorn delivery unit as there are billboards to go with it as well but um they they clear off when you move it so i'm gonna uh, do that in a moment so we made this separately in a live stream um ready to go into this park and i feel like now it's the uh, it's the time to uh to put it in really so we can move down here these will be repeated a couple of times through the um through the park i think but the first one i really want it to go uh, sort of like here in this little sort of break area here uh, it's purely aesthetic it's no use at all but uh, it looks the part and it's the sort of things like this that i really feel like um that I just wasn't doing when I first started playing Planet Coaster and now hopefully uh, it makes a noticeable difference. So one thing I'm going to do is get rid of these benches just so that people don't wander through it to sit down. Um, better make sure the bench on the other side is still okay though. So looks like about there should be alright. That's good. And actually we need to bring it out a little bit more from there as well. Okay cool. Uh, so yeah it does have billboards involved as well so I'm just going to get these and get them all turned on. Um, Pretty sure it was fresh popcorn too. Was the one we were using? Hmm. Popcorn. There we go. We must have. Hmm. Can't actually tell the difference between the two. So we'll go for that one. There we go. Hot button popcorn. There we go. Come around there and turn that one on. Yeah, popcorn too. Looks like we had a bit of an issue with that, but that's fine. So here, popcorn, oops, and knock you on as well. My personal favourite bit about the whole thing here was not the billboards, um, but actually the popcorn inside there. We used the uh, the Knight Rider uh, glass panels that came with the DLC and actually put some popcorn in there. I think that's turned out really nicely. There, there's a, a confectionery jelly button thing. I think that's actually turned out really quite nice. There's our, our fresh buttered popcorn stand. Uh, we did play around with having a staff member with it as well. Um, but to be honest with you, it just um, it was quite fiddly to get it to work. But there's one of those. Like I said, they'll, we'll repeat those a little bit through the park. And the reason I wanted to put that down there is because um, one thing I wanted to mention a little bit about this park is uh, this isn't the sort of park that's going to have lots of restaurants uh, and things like that. Uh, most of the food options are going to be quite small scale. It's going to be hot dogs, it's going to be burgers, it's going to be things out of vans, it's going to be things out of um, like kiosks at the side of pathways. Uh, we might have one uh, restaurant at some point later on in the build, uh, maybe you know, as part of a, a larger extension around a coaster or something like that. Uh, but for now, at least, most of the food outlets are going to be pretty small scale uh, in what they serve and also the size of them. And that is what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we're going to try and have a go at building an ice cream van, a very classic British institution, the old ice cream van. Um, so uh, we're going to have a go at using a cosmic cow milkshake shop a cosmic cow ice cream shop building a van around it i've got a feeling it might be a little big uh, but we'll see how we get on so here we go it's going to be a time lapse as soon as it's done we'll come back we'll look at putting it somewhere in the park and uh, i'll have a chat about how i got on with it
Okay, there we go. There is a uh, super soft whippy ice cream. Um, I've th one thing I do want to do. Uh, I'm just going to jump in here one second. I want to move out uh, one of these pieces that hopefully I can use to get to both of the signs. There we go. Yeah, and just make that a little bit more central. And also regarding signs, I've just thought of a really good name for this. Um, I would chills. Yeah, that could either work as the name of a ice cream van or a haunted house, but it's going to be an ice cream van. I'll just be able to drag that piece back in there. Like so. Okay, pretty happy with it. I think it needs a little bit more detail. It looks a little blocky. Um, I don't think that's quite centre either. Let's have a look. There we go. Obviously, use some of the DLC here to give some car features, but they look a little stuck on. Um, I feel like we could probably have a little tweak with it. So I might have a little play off camera. Um, Size-wise, I mean, it, it is pretty big. Um, it's I reckon it's probably about 50% bigger than it should be, but let's just compare it to a, um, a, a station, uh, a parking lot here. So it's not actually, you know what? It isn't that bad. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe sort of like 20-30% bigger than it should be, but it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, the last thing I need to do is, you'll see I've put a billboard here. Uh, I've just jumped out of the game, dropped into Facebook, into um, Paint Shop. Paint Shop? I've just dropped into Paint Shop Pro because I'm in the 90s. Um, I've just dropped into Photoshop and created a ice cream van logo, which is that one there. And it's upside down, so we'll turn it around. There we go. Now I'll turn it back on again. There we go. And there we have a, a menu. Okay, so we've got uh, Kuna Ubala, which is an ice cream menu in um, in Planconian. And we've got Cosmic Cow there having a look at some different ice creams that we can purchase from Pinewood Chills Whippy Ice Cream. There we go. Um, so I'm quite happy with it. I'm not 100% sure where it's going to go yet, to be honest with you. Let's bring it down okay so like probably over here somewhere um i don't know if you if you follow me on twitter you'll know this already if you don't uh why not i'm at john t sparrow on twitter i actually put a plan of what the first stage of this park is going to look like and it kind of covers this area i would say stage one uh, so the buildings on the right here are going to carry on around to a flat ride uh, buildings on the left are going to carry on around this way and then our main strip it's not going to be a main street just the main strip of, of traffic is going to come down here to another flat ride and then to a station for a, a wooden coaster that's going to run right down here into the car park and back up again and that's going to be stage one of the park that's going to be how it would have opened in the sort of 30s 40s uh, before we move on to stage two which is going to be the uh, 1960s 70s development which is going to be over here um, so at the moment there's a big chance that a lot of this will move and when I say 40s it's I'm not going to design it around the 40s it's going to be designed modern day so we have ice cream vans we have vending machines and stuff like that but we're gonna we're gonna the layout and the sort of the basic sort of design is going to be based around a certain era and um, you know with the idea that it's been updated as it's gone on so for original every uh, for instance these ticket booths wouldn't have been here in the 40s but we've added them there because that's just how it looks these days but uh, I hope that makes sense I've got it in my head what what I'm trying to get at I, I just hope that that comes across and, and makes sense uh, this now Pinewood Chills Whippy Ice Cream will be the busiest thing in the park because it's pretty much the only thing in the park so you'll actually get a nice queue there for people coming up and getting themselves an ice cream um, like I say a little bit of a shorter episode today not that much going on um, it's purely because time wise is very tight now before Frontier Expo and also I don't want to do loads in the game in case there's a massive update at Frontier Expo that completely changes how half of this works so uh, I I, I'm not sure that's going to happen but you never know do you anyway thanks so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy chatting, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you want to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so on our Discord server. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.